Oh, well, that was unexpected. It's hard to get good help these days. Well, it looks like you're under arrest, George. <laughs> oh, I am so much more than the George Gold you knew, Thomas. Oh, you've come a long way from selling weapons on the street. Yes, a profitable start to my career. But now, you see, I've expanded my business into more cutting-edge technologies. Yeah. Visionary cybernetics, for example. But now it is nanotechnology that has piqued my interest. And that's where you come in. I'm impressed. It's quite a grip you've got. I used to have others do my dirty work. Sometimes you need to be more hands-on, George. Don't call me George! I'm sure it's a very interesting story about your enhancements, George, but let's skip to the end, where you tell me everything you know in a detention cell. <laughs> you use those pop guns on my men in Halifax. It was easy enough to shield my enhancements from your stun blasts. Oh, we can do this the hard way if you insist. Your move, Mr. George. Oh, is it my move? Then I'd say it's checkmate. <laughs> What'd you run out of goons? Horns can be useful sometimes. But if you want a job done right, do it yourself! to collect my nanites with a shovel. Impossible! Your timing is impeccable, Red. We thought you could use a hand, Captain. Whew. Yeah, I'm a bit tired. Quebec? This song is good. Uh, thanks for helping me wrap things up, ladies. He did not just say that. What? Too obvious? Sorry. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Better get used to confined spaces, Gold. Will you please just take me to jail already? You know, George, I, I think the biggest mistake you made was taking me to your base. Hello, ladies. I will give you real money if you would knock him out for the rest of the trip. Really? How much? You know, George, I was thinking, since you're not going to be using that beautiful ski lodge, would you mind if I brought some friends over and... It's going to be a long ride. <laughs>